What's up guys, GG or Grims Gaming here today I'm bringing you a re reaction video without a video in the background. So, um, a lot of people are saying that Modern Warfare Remastered is ruined, why would Treyarch, or I mean, Raven only remaster 10 multiplayer maps? Like, dude, you're ruining the game. And I'm like, what are you saying? Analyze what they had to do. So, by the time that... Black Ops 2 was released right here. They started making Advanced Warfare and they started making Black Ops 3, which both have boosts, okay? And then a year after Black Ops 2 was released, this game, which is my favorite game, was released, okay? So they released Ghosts and they had um, Advanced Warfare in the making for. I guess a year and about a half. So they started making Advanced Warfare. They were almost done. They wanted to bring EXO movements into Call of Duty. And so did Activision. So that's why they told Black Ops uh, Treyarch to make Black Ops 3 with EXO movements. So they did that and they were like, okay. And then as soon as like Treyarch was two and a half years into their three year cycle, Activision and Advanced Warfare were all getting negative reviews. Everybody hated Exo Boost, and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 was pretty much screwed. Um, so they did that, and by the time that Advanced or Infinite Warfare was already a year and a half into their cycle. Advanced Warfare was also getting the negative reviews, extra boost, at the same time that Treyarch was two and a half years into their thing. So by the time that Treyarch's three year cycle was up, they thought they were screwed, no one was going to buy their game, and Infinite Warfare, I guess at the year and a half mark, decided to go to uh, Raven, who's remastering Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, they told them that they want them to remaster the game. So they said sure, they remastered 10 multiplayer maps and the whole campaign. Which is pretty say crazy in a year and a half from a game nine years old. Okay. And they, I guess they started with the campaign probably maybe had a couple crew working on multiplayer maps. But a year and a half, how much do you think they could do in a year and a half? I think that they could get the campaign done because a lot of people want to play the campaign on better graphics and um, I guess a lot of people wanted to I guess get multiplayer too so they started working on multiplayer and they only had a little bit of time left and let's say they had nine multiplayer maps remastered they could get one more in so they picked the ten that were most popular is they're working on those first and then they got to the ninth and then they went and remastered the last one before they had to release how many maps they had, I guess. Which, this is the most logical solution to their, uh, this whole thing. This isn't confirmed by, uh, Infinite War, or Infinity War, uh, Raven, Activision. This hasn't been done anything about this. It, this is just my opinion. But, if you think about it, this makes so much sense that this would be accurate. So I figured that if this was the reason that I might as well make a video about it to get all these stupid people who aren't even analyzing the situation. They're just saying, oh, there was uh, 20 maps and they had picked 10. Like, come on, dude. Be happy you're getting 10. It was like everybody wanted to boots in the ground a year and a half from the release date of Infinite Warfare and now the Modern Warfare remaster. Like, give them a chance. You're probably gonna love Infinite Warfare and you get a remastered Modern Warfare game. Like, be happy and, like, analyze this situation before you go make a video saying that they ruined the game. Other than that, it's been GG or Grams Gaming. Peace out.